Trying to do a video, second time I've tried doing it, and the video stops. Right, pop it out. And then see what's happening on here then. So I thought I did one last last month and I can't have done. I thought I'd done it. And I, was, I thought I'd done one at the beginning of this month, but it must be old age creeping up on me. So this is the and this is like October stroke November's video. What happened? Now it's happened on the way. I need to get that cupboard over again because the wind keeps blowing the, the cover off. And that'll go on to get rid of the weeds and cover it over again and I'll get it put onto a bed. I know what bed I'm sticking it on. And that's happening down here. What I made a start on is these brambles is try and cut them down. So they're just getting out of hand. There's, there's a few plants planting around, but it's just it's, it's just the space that it's taking up. So I may end up leaving so many plants in, but get rid of the rest of it at that end, so it doesn't take up as much space. So that's my plan. So it's just getting rid of it all. So I've got an S trimmer from work, borrowed, try and cut them down and see if they die back over winter. And it's just getting rid of it all. And the plan is I want to, to get rid of that and maybe try and sort in. I wanted a shed here before, but I never used it anyway. You'd never use it for um, manure area, compost area or storage. Instead of having to carry the manure all from this end to all the way to the bottom. So maybe I'll have, have it down here. But we'll see. So it would make a bit of space. But as, as you know, plans always change. Um, what's in here? Built a little corral out here. Got some chicken manure, duck manure, pig and ducks and geese and things like that manure in there. So that's rotting down. There's some cones growing there. That's the leaf mold. So that, that was a bit wider, I condensed that down, pushed it up. I was like, just having trouble getting into it, but it was the last minute fix when I got all this delivered. It's like using like these real, real big green waste bags, brown waste bags that you have for getting green waste to your local council tip. You fetch me 18 of them on the trailer. So there's some down here and some at the bottom end. So and it cost me a tenner, but it's a leave it to rotten. It'll, a lot of it was like, like sawdust, not a lot. So I'm gonna let it rot down and put, put onto the beds this year. I'm hoping to get another load this year. Some more in the next, next few weeks. So we can't go and bump. These ain't done that with these beds this year. Left them with a lit some leaves on it from last year. And the leaves aren't even rotting down. I've tried breaking them up a few times, but that haven't worked. Um, a few marrows, they've, nature's got them. Probably nature think nature's got that one there. And I've got one over there. If you can see. One over there. I'm gonna probably chop that one in half, get a seed and grow some more for next year. Uh, cabbages, they're still growing. I need to start taking some of these. Uh, so the cause yet there with a bit too big. Cabbage is doing alright. Sprouts, some of them say you can see some in there. See some in there. So they're going to it. You get some that have bolted. Leaks aren't doing too bad. They're filling up. They ain't been for a while. Keep tripping over everything. I need to get here. It's just time you finish that work, got home, sorted everything at home. Then it's getting too dark and you can't see now. So yeah. weekend is getting down with the transport and if it's weather being a bit rubbish i have got grandkids so fortunate it's winter not much is growing like apart from the odd weed so a little bit a few weeds in that one which you need cutting back so it wouldn't take too long there's a cabbage over there which is nature's got that one same as these ones i think that's the beetroot left over there they this year's leftover spuds what i left in by mistake and they're from like two years ago so a few little spuds on there now in them two beds, same again on here. So I did the path this year, still need to finish all this off. So I need to try and control this weeding, weeding down here, which I'm having trouble with. All down here, in between the gooseberries. But we're getting there, getting there. Still haven't sorted that out. I wanted to build a racking area, storage area for eight onions once a year, or pots some things. So I'd have to try and hang them on the, there's a table in there, some wire mesh in there. Trying to put them all into there, but 
these springs don't take five minutes. Still be saying this next year. But polytunnel, now much happening. Took most of the onions, onions were at home. Not as many as I did the other year. The few onions in there, but I've gone a bit soft and give them ones away. Um, all the rhubarb's died back. So I need to clear all the rubbish off there, get them composted. I may, there's a new cat there. Hey kid. I may, I was gonna try and move all these rhubarb, but yeah. Might move, dig them all out, take the rhubarb out, flatten all that off. Then I'll just, just have this for just a dead area. So these are just rhubarb plants. They need move, the rhubarb plants need moving anyway. No matter what. So, uh, raspberries. Then they cut them back again. Some dead ones there. Leave the new ones. I ain't really took, I took some back this year, but I ain't really looked after them. They've just gone wild. So I may need to do a hard cut back and start from scratch. Uh, now what's much happening on this side. So there again, they said that, that needs cutting back off the bushes. So considering when I, when I planted that, it was only a little clump at the end. And it's just got bigger and bigger. Pond, it's constantly we've had some weight, rain. It's, it's getting a bit quite low, but I think there's a, there must be, it's got to be a leak in there. This area, all the bins are full. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. The old tomatoes are at home. I try to put a picture on what I've took home, depending on which way I could upload it. So the plan in here for this year, next year is, I might not grow anything in these sides here. If I do it, be just in buckets. Is to move the table, both take the table apart. So I've got a bottom shelf and top shelf, and maybe and put shelving across there, across there, and back here. So I've got instead of having a bit of a bit of wood here and a bit of wood there, probably try and put pop shelves in. Then if I want to grow stuff, I've got I can put stuff underneath. It's only like chili plants anywhere that I put in, or I can stack them on the on the shelving. To grow so they don't take up much space what are you looking at what two foot so even if i do a shelf down here i've still got two foot to put stuff on it's just to open it up a little bit so i'll just keep growing in here and i'll grow on the other side as well in the other part of the tunnel yeah down here not much happening down here so i cleared some of the rubbish down there last month month before um leaf mold that's last year's leaf mold. Um, which is pretty good really. Getting quite good. I'm sure that was quite good. I just threw into there because the um chicken manure. I've got some more here. So I've started fetching down there. Oh and it's taking ages. So, and I'm thinking, if I fetched them for the full 18 bags here, there's no way I would have got it all into there. So I'm letting that rot sit for a bit, then I could just top some more up if I get any more. See the animals have been in. Green fuel before there, down there. The, this is me. You see where they've been going in in there. This is me compost for this year. Next year, sorry. Yeah. So, but the, the animals have been in because you can see where the, it's all found on the top and they've been digging. So, I'll leave, leave that to it. Settle down. So, that's the compost what I've got all this year. I've started a new pile there. So, as you say, getting there. Comfrey's gone from there. Tied it all out. That's in that bucket. So, so I'd use most of that this year. What I've done is filled it up with comfy leads. I've topped it, topped it up with water and just let it seal. And these are sorting, sorting there out the shed. And I think that's it, folks. So, apologies for missing one last month. I'll say this is two months in one. So, things, are, little bits have changed. So, we're getting there. It's just keeping on top of it. And when you get a day like this, we could do a bit, I ain't got time.
So, right, I love you and leave you. So thanks very much for watching. And thanks for walking around the plot with me.